Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, I am Penge, and welcome back to the Universum, where last time out I would say that there were two key moments. Key moment number one was that we finally got these three buildings up and built and operational, and it took a heck of a long time for it to happen, but they are finally in. So this is the cement factory that has been making cement for quite some time. In fact, this was ready for the last part, that was constructed. And then this building here, took a long while to create. This was the glass factory. And the problem with this was that we couldn't get enough cement to it, even though the cement factory is next door. I mean, I don't know why it took quite so long. They could have stood here and thrown the cement in, but never mind. So this is the glass factory that makes glass. It's got a sort of weird cube thing out the front, so it must be important. And this very impressive looking building here, this is the steel mill, and that makes big steel beams. So together, we get steel beams, we get glass, we get cement, and that means we can make modern buildings. An example of one of the modern buildings that we have made is just here. So this is a modern farm, and I think this is the only modern farm we've got, unless there is another one. Oh no, there is another one. I can see the, uh, the sort of the windmill turbine thing in Majiga there of another one. But look, we've got modern farms in. So it's got its own little mini power source and it's got big vats with tubes and it's got little vats with symbols on and it's all very exciting. So yes, we're actually getting things constructed with those fancy resources, which is very, very important. So that was sort of a key thing number one. The second key thing that happened was that we reached the end of the research tree we have nothing else to research now in the universe. It is all done as it stands right now. We've got a coming soon. We can't research that. It doesn't let us do anything. And that's it. We've completed everything. So we've gone from, let's have a look all the way down here. We've gone from primitive tools where our nuggets were just starting out and they didn't really know what anything was. You know, they were just whacking rocks together and seeing what happened. And now all the way through to this aerospace where we can make spaceships which is very very exciting and that's kind of what we want to go toward now because my idea was when I came back to play the universe in again I wanted to get to the modern era and we've done that but now now we might as well try and get a spaceship sorted so let's build ourselves some spaceshipy stuff shall we because I just want to see if it can happen. And at some point, as we've mentioned in the previous couple of parts, the Universum is going to be upgraded from Alpha to Beta, which will obliterate this save. And it would be a shame if we came so far, if we came so far and built this great big settlement only to be pipped to the post where we couldn't actually get a spaceship. So I think we might concentrate on that a little bit. Um, we have got a lot of other stuff going on. Now, food is a little bit of a worry. Food is a little bit of a worry. So we've got ourselves 141 prepared meals. That's okay. We do have 438 adult nuggets though. So yeah, that's not as high as it could be. And the raw food is one. One raw food. There's an apple. There's an apple somewhere around the place, which is not cooked. It's not a nice cooked apple. It's just a raw apple. So um, yeah, we're not doing overly well on food. Now we have put in a load of farms, to try and rectify that. If I could find where they are. There we go. So there are four farms just here, which will hopefully help with our food woes. But yeah, that could that could cause some problems. If we run out of food, that is going to be quite bad. I mean, we could, we could go and do some trading with one of our neighbours, because we do have quite a lot of iron. I wonder, actually, before we do anything, is it worth popping over to find one of our neighbours? Like, you guys here, do you guys want to trade? How do we even trade with the neighbours? How do we even trade with these? Red deer, can we trade with them or do we have to wait for them to come to us? I'm not entirely sure. Maybe we can't go and trade with them. Maybe they have to come to us with a trade offer and then we can do the trading. Okay, well, if the, if someone comes around, we will try and get some food off them. Yeah, I'm wondering if I wonder if we can go and trade with the bigger lot. The, the Shambhalas, are they called? Where's the bigger settlement? I mean, they can't be that hard to spot. They've got to be around somewhere. They've got lots of buildings and they're all sort of bluish looking. Um, there, there they are. Can we click on one of these buildings and see if they want to trade? Because they don't hate us quite as much as the Red Deer folks. No, they're still aggressive toward us. But I don't know how we can, I don't know how we can trade with them. Um, okay, never mind. We'll wait for them to come to us. And when they do, we will try and get some food off them because they probably have quite a bit and we do not have too much. So that could be quite handy. Okay, right. Let's go back over here. So we've got ourselves 
We've actually got quite a lot of buildings that I would love to get in. So let's have a look what buildings we do not have. There is an airport. We don't have one of those. I would like an airport. I mean, I don't know why we need an airport. I don't know where they're flying to. <laughs> no idea. I mean, they've got little cars. They could probably drive around this world in not very long. But we'll put an airport in because that's fun. We also have a cloning center. Um, I don't know what one of those does either. Obviously, it clones a nugget. But what's the point? I assume it says in there, um, these genetically engineered individuals have some interesting traits. There will always be one positive primary trait and two negative traits. So we can clone the nuggets, but they will not be perfect. Okay. Um, and then we've got the Cosmodrome. Oh yes, we are going to want to put one of those in. That's absolutely what we want to put in. However, first... We're going to need some more power because we keep burning through our power. So my initial idea was to put down some solar panels. And I thought, yeah, we'll just chuck some solar panels out. It'll be fine. They'll generate some power. But unfortunately, no, we've not got one of the required resources. So they need glass. Yeah, we can do that. They need iron, I think. Yes, we can do that. But then they need some sort of electronics. And we do not have that. We do not have the ability to make electronics yet. So we're going to need to build ourselves some more factories. So what have we got? We've got a steel mill. We don't think we need the plastics factory. We might need that if we're actually going to make a spaceship. Um, we've got the glass factory. You don't need a fuel refinery. Although, again, we might need that if we're going to have a spaceship. Um, the fibre factory. Don't really know what that does. Chemical plant, cement factory, and a carbon factory. Now, I imagine the carbon factory is going to make the little tiny computer sort of chip thingamajiggers. I'm not entirely sure. I thought there would have been an electronics factory. But there is not. There's fancy wood refineries and stone refineries now. But I'm not entirely sure which one we need. I mean, it's not the fibre factory. I don't know exactly what it's going to make. I'm not entirely sure. But carbon. I think it's a carbon factory. So let's get ourselves... Oh, we need to move time on. Let's grab ourselves a carbon factory. Let's put that over here. Let's just put that behind that building there. Something is being constructed just there. What is that? Oh, an oil jack. Oh, it's not being constructed. I thought it was that that looked like it was being built, but okay, never mind. So there we go. So we need to get ourselves cement, we need glass, and we need steel beams. Okay. They're not that far away, I don't think. Do you know what? Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. Why have we put that there? Let, let's get rid of that. Cancel that. Yes, abort the construction of that. So that can go away. They'll take down those things. Why don't we just put all of the industrial things over here? Because then they do not need to move all that stuff from here to over there. We'll just put them in here. So this can carry on being our little sort of industrial area. So, okay, let's go through. Carbon factory. So, yes, we'll put one of those down. We'll pop one of those there. Now, again, we don't know what it needs to run and we don't know what it produces. But, yeah, we'll roll with it. It's absolutely fine. Ah, uh, yes, now we are trying to sort that out. There is a riot. Um, we'll go and look at that in a moment. Right, hang on. Hang on, rioting people. Um, do we need a chemical plant? I'm not entirely sure if we need all these things. A fibre factory? The latest technology requires the latest materials, and that's why this building exists. Maybe we need to put a fibre factory in as well. So we'll put one of those in as well, and then hopefully we will have all the things we need. Now, the alert thing from there has gone, which would imply to me that the police, the lovely police service, the Nugget Police Force, have dealt with the riot. Because I can't see where the riot might be and the alert thing up there is cleared off. So maybe the police have actually sorted it out, which would be wonderful. Now, yeah, we do have a problem with crime. It is not a very good thing. The crime level is very high. And we have actually set aside a few police stations. Is that one? Yeah, law enforcement. But yes, of course, they need resources. They need glass and they need beams. So um, it might be worth just speeding the game on nice and quick, just hurrying things along. And then we'll um, we'll see if we can get at least one police station sorted. Because, yeah, I mean, it's got... What's it got in it? It's got all the cement in. It needs some beams and it needs some glass. But there are a few of those being constructed. Is that another farm? Yeah, that's another farm. So that's going to be sharing the same resources as well. So, yeah, we're competing now for the same resources. So, yeah, it's going to be... The, the sort of progress of building will be slower. Oh, the buildings do look very impressive. The buildings do look excellent. But yes, indeed, our, um, our crime level is a little bit high. So hopefully, hopefully we can get some police stations built and then we can actually, uh, actually bring that down a little bit because I don't like it being high. I don't like the idea of the Nuggets going and rioting and killing people and knocking down buildings and what have you. Right, so these buildings are here. 
There are no resources in that one and entirely no resources in that one. Brilliant. Are you actually making anything? Um, yes, they're making cement. They are, they are not making, they are making glass, but I think they've ran out of gas. Okay, fine. And, uh, you lot, they seem to be fine. There's one gas and there's plenty of iron, so you can carry on making those beams. Although it doesn't look like you're making any right now. If you could make those soon, that'd be great because we're waiting on all these resources. That's kind of just what we're stood around for. Um, have we got plenty of people in the gas mine? Yes. Have we got enough people in the oil jack? Yes. Okay, so why are they not just getting on with things and making these resources appear a bit quicker? I'd be expecting to see that kind of looping around to imply they're actually going and doing their job, but no. Um, yeah, that, and they're doing their job. So the gas mine is actually doing something. So that's pretty good. But yeah, it's just the, the oil. Uh, I know, is that doing something now? Maybe they were just, maybe they were on a break. They were just outside, you know, just looking up at the sky, getting some fresh air. <laughs> maybe I'm, maybe I'm just expecting too much of our hardworking nuggets. And encouragingly, we have acquired a heck of a lot of raw food. I do not know where that has come from, but we were just over 100 raw food and 106 prepared meals. So that's very encouraging. However, the amount of raw food is being devoured quite quickly. I wonder if that is being just eaten raw. Now, where are all our eateries? Because I have not put an eatery down for quite some time. Like, is there a place over here for people to go and eat? I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's an eatery just there. There's an eatery just there. We could do with upgrading the eateries, couldn't we, really? However, it's going to require the resources that everything else is requiring as well, like the police stations and all that kind of stuff. So maybe, maybe we'll just leave it. I think we just need to leave it for our... <gasps> I completely forgot we put down a hot air balloon. I absolutely forgot that we built this. I mean, it's a little bit pointless, but it looks very, very good. Oh, look at that. There's a little house here. This is where you go and get your tickets. This is where you go and buy your tickets for your hot air balloon ride. So it's just a little kind of a little administrative building. It's got a tiny, a tiny hot air balloon on the top, which is nice, and an awning and aircon and stuff. And then you get this thing just here. So this is the proper air balloon. If you don't have a ticket, you better grow wings fast. I want to see somebody using this. Can somebody please come and use the hot air balloon? Because that would be brilliant. I want to see somebody go up in the hot air balloon and fly off and have a fun time. Can somebody do that? Joe you know what? We've got to wait for the game to run on anyway, because we need to produce loads and loads of resources. So we will just sort of, we'll just sit here and just watch this and just see if somebody does buy a ticket and go up in the hot air balloon. Because if they do, we definitely want to see it happening. Okay, so I waited quite a long time and nobody used the balloon, which is a little bit sad. So yeah, we're going to have to just wait and just see if somebody does use it. Maybe we will catch sight of it floating around or whatever. Um, I think a few buildings have been completed. I think one of the police stations might have gone in possibly because crime did come down a little bit. So I assume one of the law enforcement buildings has gone in, which is very, very good. Other than that, things are still going very, very slowly. Oh, and there's, is there a fire over here? Oh, I think there was a fire. And I think the fire service have sorted it out because look, you can see the fire engines driving away. Good job, fire service. Well done. I think it was from in here, uh, which is not the first time this place has been on fire. This place has been on fire before a few times. Um, okay, so yeah, how are these buildings doing? How are you doing with your constructioning stuff? You are not making any cement at all because you are lacking oil. Brilliant. Okay. You're not making any glass because there's no gas and you're not making any steel beams. Yeah. Okay. Right. This is a bit of an issue. This is a bit of a problem. They're not storing the stuff in here, are they? No. Right. Hang on then. Why are we not making anything? There's two gas storage in there. So there's two gas in the mine and there's no oil in that one and there's one oil in that one i mean progress is very very slow with these it is painfully slow but okay fine hopefully hopefully we will see these things start churning out a lot of materials for these because yeah we can't do anything we're not making any glass we're not making any steel we're not making any cement nothing is happening so we can't complete any of those farms we can't complete the fancy new factories that we've got underway have they put resources in there a little bit of cement. Is that it? Oh, the carbon factory's got loads of cement in it. Oh, okay, so they have done something. 
A lot of vehicles just appeared just then. But yeah, so something is happening. Oh, right, hang on a minute. That's what's happening. Hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. We do not want this season change away with you, Winter. And somebody in uh, one of the comments on the previous video did say, oh, you're depriving them of Christmas. <laughs> Because I keep, we keep skipping through winter. Um, but uh, yeah, I suppose the, the argument to that would be that this is a, a Southern Hemisphere uh, setup. And uh, yeah, uh, Christmas is in, the, is in the summer. So that's absolutely fine. So there we go. We got around that one <laughs> on a technicality, but it's fine. So, um, so yeah, there's just now, there's a bit of waiting going on, which I seem to recall happening when we played the Universum last time. And then it kind of all went wrong when we played the Universum last time as well. But there was a point where we couldn't get to the modern age, I don't believe. I think we could get to the sort of the the sort of Tudor buildings and that kind of stuff. But I think there was a bit where we were just gathering resources and it took quite a long time. So yeah, it does sort of slow down a little bit at this point, which is, I'll admit, it's a little bit frustrating because I kind of want to build all the shiny, new, exciting buildings because uh, yeah, we've got loads of new things that we can build got lots of exciting things but it does seem that uh yeah progress is very very slow i'd love to be able to just go click 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 yay we've built all these lovely new buildings um but no unfortunately we cannot do that i'm gonna try and figure out if we can go and request a trade with some other people because i don't want to wait for them to come to us why can't we go to them and see if they would like to trade so there must be something we can do whether it's whether we click on one of these, whether we click on a person, do we need to click on you? Uzono Shukedzki? No. Uh, is it a button up here? Is it a button down here? I'm just going to press enough buttons and just see if we can trigger some sort of trade arrangement with one of the other settlements. Oh, well, there we go. I'm trying to figure out a way to do some trading, but Shambhala have actually come to us for a trade. Okay, do you know what? We will go for this. So let's see if we can actually get anything from them. So they want to give us some cement and we give them whatever that is. I'd love it if there was some sort of tooltip rollover. I don't know what that is. What is that just there? Okay, right, let's try and do our own deal. So they could give us, uh, they've got no food spare. They could give us some cement, that is fuel. And I don't know what that thing is either. And they've got beams as well, right. We would like all your beams, all your cement, um, all of whatever those blue things are, even though you wanted those off of us. So we'll have all of those things, please. Um, can we have 26 of whatever that cross might be? I don't know what that cross is. Let's have 26 of that as well. And now we need to give you some things. How about some lovely stone blocks? How about a hundred of those stone blocks? Okay, you're quite happy with that. Um, okay, how about some planks? Would you love some planks? How about 75 planks? Ah, Right, that actually levels that up just there. What if then we ask for some of this? I don't think we necessarily need this, but it might come in quite handy. So we'll basically fleece you of pretty much everything. I don't know what that is. We're getting 26 lucky dip resources, but okay, we will go for that and we'll give you some planks and some blocks because we don't need any of those things and some sort of, I assume that's fuel, although we don't need it, but okay, we'll do that trade. Um, okay. So we got, yeah, that, but I don't know what they are. Chemicals. Oh, it's plastic. Ah, right. Okay. So we've got ourselves some plastic. Okay. I don't know if we necessarily need plastic, but okay. Um, a riot has broken out. I'm sure the police will sort it out. Uh, the police are very good here. The police are absolutely brilliantly efficient. It's fine. They will deal with it. Go on, cops. There you go. Look, people are going to prison and it's been dealt with. No, it hasn't been dealt with. It has. It hasn't. And it has. Yeah. <laughs> they got there in the end. It's all fine. So, right. Are these guys actually doing anything? No, no, and no. Okay. So, this they're being loaded up with the other resources. So, that's got all the... Um, that's got iron in it, which is great. And this has got the planks and the bricks. We just don't have the oil. Although, there is five oil in the in the sort of uh, well in our little setup somewhere there's five oil i don't know why and four gas why are we not using the oil and the gas to make the things that we need why is that not being moved around enough i wonder where that is if it's in here i'm going to be quite grumpy no it's not in there i was going to say if it's in the warehouse next door that's going to be quite annoying um that's got all the cement in it that's got all the cement in it so it says that the cement factory is doing something and now it's the other factories that are slowing down. What is that building there? That is an engineer's hut that is also waiting for a heck of a lot of resources. 
Um, okay, maybe, maybe what we need to do is we need to get ourselves. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Aliens, alieny aliens, and boom, bye bye. And we'll get them when they're not around the settlement, uh, because they might. Oh, no, we're gonna have to get them now. They have crashed into the edge of the farm. Oh no! <laughs> and the farm has been destroyed. <laughs> And all the resources with it, I imagine. Oh, I thought they were going to do some... So they stopped above it. I thought they were going to, you know, like, I don't know, alien laser beam it or something. Oh, botherations. Okay. <laughs> right, well, never mind. There you go. Lesson learned. Don't blow up a UFO when it's over one of your farms. Hopefully, this thing will be full of very, very useful resources. And, um, and of course, one of those, uh, one of those sort of uh, blueprint pieces as well. So let's just drop it down there. And I'm not going to bother translating it. They're all common things anyway. So let's, um, let's open it. Let's see what's inside. And what is that? It's food. Oh, OK. Do you know what? That's fine. That's absolutely fine. We could always do with a little bit more food. So, yeah, I'll absolutely take that. That is lovely. So thank you, Mystery Box. We shall tuck in to the delightful treats that are contained therein. We just crashed into something. Oh, it was, it was a big building. I must have just clipped it. I must have just clipped it. I have passed my godly flying license. I really have. Oh, yes, I got distracted, didn't I? What I was going to do was I was going to build a couple more oil jacks and gas mines just to make sure that we've actually got some more provision for those in. So an oil jack can go here, say. That's one of the new fancy ones. I think we might already have some of these under construction anyway. But OK, so an oil jack just there. And then a uh, gas mine, whichever one that is. That's an iron mine. That's a lump camp. That's a gas mine. Let's put one of those over this side. And at least that's some resources in then. So there we go. Oh, that hospital is being constructed. All the resources have gone into the hospital. This is excellent news. So we're getting into the hospital. And that's good anyway, because that obviously keeps the nuggets alive and what have you. But also it does bring down the crime level. Hospitals are good for bringing the crime down. So let's have a little look. How complete is that? Oh, it's not even halfway done yet. But that is another building down that is not going to be using our precious, precious glass and beams and concrete resources, which is pretty good. And is this our first modern hospital? I think this might be the first modern hospital that we have. So it might be worth sticking around just to see what this looks like. I think it's done. It is done. Oh, oh, it's got a sticky out bit at the top. Look at that, it juts out. Is that structurally sound? Is that is that actually going to work? That's not going to tip over anything. And it's got a shiny thing on the roof. It's actually got a little roof. It's good. <laughs> That's got a helipad as well, even though we haven't got helicopters, but okay. And we've got ourselves these two frameworks in. Now that actually probably isn't going to be too difficult. The gas mine will probably go in quite quickly. Yeah, I think the gas mine is... Look at that, the resources are in. And they're building the gas mine already. The oil jack might take a while. Although 10 cement has somehow arrived there very, very quickly. How has that happened? Yet we wait for other things for ages. Okay, fine. Well, yeah, that's a good thing. I'm not going to complain. Ooh. Ooh, there's a, oh, there's a swirly thing. There's a swirly thing. Hang on. Let's put time down to normal. I think that's a tornado. So... Let's get our protective domes ready. Uh, now, this worked last time. A few people have said that we can blow the tornadoes away. But, um, but yeah, also, we can use our mighty protective dome things. And that seems to deflect the tornadoes as well. What we need to do is we need to keep an eye out for where the tornado is actually going to strike. So we just need to keep flying around the planet because, uh, A... It, it makes me feel important because, you know, I'm flying around the planet. Ooh, godly powers. And, oh, <laughs> really? Just as that's... A, oh, and look at that. That's beautiful. Right, OK. Uh, and... And... Crate bubble! There we go. Right. The tornado is now sort of stuck inside the bubble. I don't think it can go anywhere. Can it go anywhere? Um, it might be... A, it, OK, right. It might be stuck inside the bubble, destroying the thing that's under it. The gas mine is done, though. Yeah, your nuggets have spotted a tornado. <laughs> have they, really? Um, it's just there. I mean, I'm hoping it just goes away. I'm hoping it just goes away. It just gets bored and, and goes home and does something productive rather than just destroying all our things. Because, yeah, that is a cemetery. Even though it's only got one person in it. Um, all right, that is coming back down. It's coming back down. Right, OK, build another smaller bubble like that. There we go. So if it did come back, it would bounce off it. But I think, I think we might have actually 
got rid of the tornado again. I think it might have possibly gone away. Yep, it looks like it's going away, which is good news. So that can clear off. Did they sound the alarm themselves? I think the Nuggets have sounded the alarm themselves to go and hide. Don't worry, Nuggets. <laughs> Don't you worry. I have got this. It is all under control. I am acutely aware that our population is falling, which is not a good sign. But yes, our population is indeed dwindling. I think we started on something like 430, did we? Adult Nuggets. And that is coming down. Now, this happened, as I said earlier, on the playthrough of the university that I did last time, where we didn't get through to the modern era because it wasn't in the game at that point. But yes, that did happen. We got to a point and everything was looking good. And then everything sort of slowed down to a crawl. We couldn't build all the new fancy buildings because the production of all the stuff was too slow. And then, yeah, the, the population did start coming down. So I wonder if we're seeing a little bit of a pattern there. Ooh. Oh, hang on a moment. We've got fancy pump buildings. Oh, they're very exciting. I'll check those out. Okay, right. So we've spent some resources on upgrading those. That's good. So that should keep us okay in terms of water for a little while, which is very, very nice. Lots of people around there doing some stuff. How is the water in other places? Do we need to go and do we need to go and top up any more lakes or whatever? What's that one looking like? 82.6, that's fine. I bet this one is quite low. 10.5, yes. Hang on a minute, let me do some, some celestial raining upon you. Trickle effect. And that's Big Ben. Hang on, trickle effect. And rain, and rain. Two lots of rain can rain on that, which should be topping that back up. Joe, you know what? We'll, we'll do a couple more. We'll go rain and rain. There we go. Crime has just shot up. Crime level is very high. Law enforcement is still only three of them. Yeah, so none of the law enforcement buildings have been done. Because I think we had three at the start. Ah, the gas mines, for some reason, cause a lot of crime. Why would a gas mine cause a lot of crime? <laughs> Where are you going to go tonight? Go cause some, go and do some troublemaking. Yeah, I'm just going to nip down the gas mine. Do they have stuff to steal? Oh, pff, gas. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Enjoy the gas. Why would you go and hang around there if you're a criminal? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, how is that oil jack looking? It's looking fine, except for the, except for a, um, oh, another riot's broken out. Oh my goodness me, we need the police stations done. Um, it's looking fine, except for the, hang on a minute, hang on, now I'm really confused. Did we build another cement factory? Okay, we must have built another cement factory. And another little, another, another gas mine just there. I don't remember doing this, but it's okay, I mean, it's brilliant we did. An oil jack is just there. I don't remember doing that at all. I mean, it makes perfect sense. Maybe that's where all the cement's coming from. Maybe this is the good cement factory and the other one is the rubbish cement factory, possibly. I do not know. Okay, well, that's good. That might be why we're getting so much cement sent around the place because everything seems to have cement sorted. It's everything else that is lacking. And are the hospital just there? They're all three farms. I wonder if that one... Oh, that just needs some beams. That just needs a few beams. Okay, so that's nearly done. How is the rain affecting this? Yep, that has gone straight back up. That is looking very, very good indeed. Right, okay, Nuggets, do you need me to deal with anything else? Balloon, 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 balloon. The balloon is in the air. Oh, look. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I completely forgot about the, the election thing. I was too distracted with a tornado, and then I got distracted by a balloon. But, uh, okay, so <laughs> how do we pronounce this without it sounding terrible? Um, Shh. Eshatio. Ah, yeah, that's how you say it. Eshatio um, is the new leader of Tandarian. Accelerated studies. So Nuggets spend less time in school. Injury rates increase. We will celebrate. I want to celebrate more that the balloon is in the air. Oh, look at the lovely balloon. Look, that's brilliant. There's nobody actually in the basket right now. Oh, there is. A labourer. A labourer is in the basket. They're just so short they can't see over the sides. <laughs> okay, so where does it wander off to? Does it wander off and then come back down in the same place? Or does it land over there and then make its way back? Oh, well, now, now we're going to have to follow a balloon. That's what we're going to have to do. This is this is now what this is. It's moved away from the universe and it's now hot air balloon simulator. Here we go. Can we see the nugget in the basket? Is that what we can do? Put the nugget in the basket. Um, yes, you're just there. You're just, I was said, hang on, are there two? Are there two nuggets? Or are you just, a, are you wearing some sort of hat? I don't know. I think you might just be one nugget in there. Um, and you're just sort of having a fun, 
a fun little jaunt around the place. Yeah, you're, you're just loving life in there. You are just absolutely loving your hot air balloon ride. Okay, move time on a bit quicker. Let's just see if we can actually find out where you go. I mean, do you go around the world? I hope you kind of just land wherever you end up, yeah, rather than coming back and landing in the same place, because I don't think that's how hot air balloons work. I think they, you know, they get taken by the wind and they land wherever they can. Don't land in this water. <laughs> that would be unfortunate. That would be not good. What is that just there? That's not a nugget, is it? What's that? Oh, no, it's a wolf. Oh, it's a wolf. Yeah, don't land near the wolves either. Don't land near the wolves. Uh, oh, hang on a minute, we've run out of power. Wait there, hot air balloon. Right, pause for a second. Um, where did we build all of those batteries? Here they are. Right, okay, let me just jibber-jab the batteries to give them a jolt of power. There we go. Marvellous. We've got that. Crops don't grow very well without water. Yes, I'm aware of that. We do have enough water provisioned, though. We've got plenty of water why are you telling me that? Why are things going a bit strange? And our nugget population, well, it's come down to about 380, which again is not as much as I would like it to be. I'd like it to be increasing rather than decreasing, but you know what? We can't do much about it. Um, the police stations are still not in. Everything is going very, very slowly. Right, where's the hot air balloon? Um, it's just, it's kind of just taking a little trip around the lake. It's just going around the lake at the moment. Or is it heading over the mountains now? Is it heading over these mountains? Oh, you're having a splendid journey. That That is very good. I do like that. Okay, bye. Have fun. Enjoy. Do you know what we could do? What we could do now? Let's have a look at what resources we need to build an airport. We need... We don't need any of the fancy electronic stuff. Oh, okay. Can we get an airport? Oh, my word. It's huge. An airport is massive. Right. Which makes sense, because airports are pretty big. Um, can we find a place to put the airport that isn't a gazillion miles away? Oh, there's loads of room over here. Let's put the airport over here. So, um, yeah, let's put it there, look. Because if that thing is, I assume that's the runway. Where's, is there a way in? Ah, oh, there's the way in. Okay, let's put it facing this way. And the runway can go over there. Let's drop in an airport. For no real reason, because I don't know where they're going to fly to. Because there's not another airport for the planes to land at. But whatever the case, we've now got an airport. We will make that a priority for no real reason, other than the fact that I just want to see what the planes look like. Nugget planes will look amazing, I'm fairly sure. So let's just see if they can actually get that underway. I notice over here that that seems to be doing something. So steel beams are being made. Uh, glass, not quite so much. Um, yeah, I've got one oil and three gas and no glass at all in 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 storage or anywhere else. Yeah, that's that's not very encouraging, is it? Why are we not making enough gas now? Why are we not making enough gas for everything? We've got many, many gas mines. Maybe it's just people. Maybe we're just lacking people because our population has come down. Maybe we're just lacking people to do all of the jobs that we need them to do. I do not know. So with the airport down, I thought, well, let's look at getting the Cosmodrome down as well. We might as well place it somewhere. And I thought, let's place it next to the airport because, you know, we'll have two flying things next to each other. And I looked down at the resources and it needs 25 cement. Gotcha. 15 iron. I imagine that's supposed to be steel beams. So 15 steel beams and then 10 of whatever those little yellow things are. I assume it's some sort of coils of wire. Now that's those things there. We have 26 of those. I don't know where we've got 26 of those from. And I don't know what they are. What is that? Fibre optics. Where have we got 26 fibre optics from? I do not know. But we're going to place one of these. <laughs> I mean, it's just pointlessly excessive, isn't it? Um, let's put this one over here. I mean, OK, it's a bit near the airport. Are the planes going to be able to make it there? Do you know what? Um, just out of health and safety issues, maybe we won't put that just there. Maybe we'll put it over here near where some of those resources can go. So we'll put that just there. So there we go. We might be able to go to space. This is going to take a heck of a long time to get in. This is going to take so long for this thing to get placed because it needs lots of things. So yeah, 10 fiber optics. The only thing is we will have that. We'll have that. That might appear relatively quickly. Uh, yeah, it was steel beams. Um, crops have withered. Why? Four lots of crops? What? What, what, what? Why are food crops being wasted? We've got loads of raw food. Food is looking okay. Why Why has that happened? 
Why has that happened? Hang on, hang on. Are we not able to click on these and go to them? Because that would be quite useful. Um, okay, I thought that we should be able to click on those and go to the event, but clearly not. Um, there is a problem with farms, is there then? Um, no, not those ones. I don't know. I mean, it, withering implies that they don't have enough water, but we do have plenty of water. And also we have a minister of water who should be absolutely on the water issue. If there is a farm running out of water, then, then they should be on it. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on. We don't have some ministers. Oh, OK. However, we do have a minister of water. Yay. Um, maybe we do need a minister of food. Oh, and now we're getting to the point where we've got no free people. <laughs> OK, we have no free people available. Um, yeah, OK, everybody has jobs. All of the 376 people that are around have jobs. Um, OK, there's a riot. What we could do is let's do another little bit of this, shall we? Oh, there's loads of people. Oh, there's loads of people. OK, right. Let's just zoom into here. So you and you, because you're you're both nice. There you go. You Oh, there's loads of... Oh, there's all the rioting people outside that warehouse there. Boo! Down with that warehouse. You can go with that one. There you go. Rioters can all stick together. Um, I wonder if we can pair... Ow! <laughs> I wonder if we can pair up the rioters. Um, there's a little cop running after them. I do, <laughs> I do like how the police just sort of run around. Um, okay, right. Hang on. Hang on. Could you not stay still? Could you stay still, please? I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to give you the loves of your lives. If you could stop that, oh, we'll just we'll just pick you instead. It's fine. Um, right, we need a blue one to go to. Um, can't see any of the blue ones right now. There's some over that side. Oh, there's some all the way over there. Okay, hang on. Let's go over here. Where was the where was the blue one? Oh, there's loads of nuggets that we can pair up. There's absolutely loads. Um, yeah. Okay. Right. Let's go through and do lots of pairing up of nuggets. Well, I've paired up quite a lot of people. There must have been at least a dozen couples there, but our population is still coming down. We do have quite a lot of child nuggets, which is very encouraging. Oh dear, someone damaged a building. Again, could you take me to it? That would be really handy because that to me is, but yes, okay, somebody's damaged a building. Where? We've got, it, the place here is quite big now. We've got a very, very, very big settlement going on. Could you please tell me where that might be happening? Because I have no idea. It could be anywhere. I mean, where were they rioting before? They sort of riot around here, do they? But yeah, I can't see where the rioters might be right now. So yeah, who knows where that building was that got damaged? I have no idea. Is there anyone else that could do with pairing up? There's quite a lot of, quite a lot of blues there, but I can't see that many. Pi ah, there's some pinks over here. Hello. Um, oh, you and you. Look, you're right next to each other. That's convenient. You and there were some blues sort of over here, weren't there? So you and you. That will do. So there we go. You two. There you go. I'm giving you love. Yay. You can thank me later. Um, you and you. Um, so a person there and she works in the graveyard. So that's nice. There you go. And another trade. Yes. OK, right. hang on a minute. First things first. Let's change the season because because I don't like the winter because it kills all the crops. So there we go. Fly through there. We've got lots of raw food now. That's very encouraging. And we've gone through to spring. OK, let's have a look. They want planks for loads of cement. Can we have glass? <laughs> Is that something we can have of yours? That would be great. So they wanted some... Uh, I forgot what it was. What do they want? Oh, we'll just give them... We'll give them 100 of those. And we'll give them... Uh, I've only got 171 planks now. Maybe we'll give them 71 planks and then we'll try and get some stuff off them. So can we get 10 cement? That'd be useful. A lot of these beams might be quite handy. If we get loads of beams, that'd be really useful. A bit of food, even if we get 10 food off them, that'd be nice. I don't know what the 94 is. I'm not entirely sure what that might be. Um, can we have some of that as well? Can we have 10 of the mystery item? Is there anything else you would like? Anything else that we could give you that we just don't really need? I don't think there is. Well, how about that? Look, we've got 448 of whatever that is. What if we give you 100 of that? And that might allow us to have some more stuff. So we'll have a bit more cement. Thank you very much. We'll have another little bit more food. Push that up to 30, maybe. And then steel beams are going to be very, very handy. If we can have oh, 30, we'll have all of your steel beams. And then we'll have more of whatever this mystery item is. Top that up to 30. And then we'll just sort of have more of this and push that to whatever we can get. 
Um, about there, I think. 35 of whatever that might be. Right, let's watch what else goes up. So we don't need to watch cement or steel beams or food. What else increases? So what is the mystery item? Let's have a little look. So anything? Um, not that, not that. Um, ah, it is the fiber optics, I think. I think that's what it is. Okay, right, so we've just got... <laughs> We've got a load more fiber optics, but we haven't got any glass, okay? <laughs> right, gotcha. That's how this is working. Uh, the airport, yeah, is looking pretty sad because we need glass. We just need glass. We've just bought in a load of steel beams. They're already being depleted, but that's fine. There's the balloon. Hello, balloon. A little nighttime fly around. That looks very, very pretty. And how is our whatever our space thing going, wherever that might be? Um, where is it exactly? It's quite big. Where is it? It's just here. There it is. It's just here. And that has got in it. It's got in it all of the fiber optics, but as we sort of suspected, not much of the cement and not many of the steel beams. Okay, right. It's going to take a little while for the Cosmodrome to get completed. Right, gotcha. Move time on. Let's see if we can actually get this finished at some point in the near-ish future. Oh, something is being built over here. What is that? Oh, that's one of the farms. That's one of the modern farms. Okay, now the only thing is, are we going to have anybody available to work in this when it's completed? Because yes, it's good that it's in and it will provide a bit of extra food. And food, food isn't actually looking that bad. Food is now looking okay. We've got 180-ish prepared meals, but a lot of raw food now, which is very, very good. So maybe food isn't going to be that much of a problem. But you know what? We can never have too much food. It's always good if we have more food than not enough. Um, so let's just see if we've got anybody that's actually available to work in this. Um, so yeah, that must have got some glass from somewhere then. So the glass factory is obviously doing something. So have people ran in to work on this? Um, can we filter it on just that? Although the filtering in this is a little bit wobbly. There's one person. There is one labourer <laughs> who could work here. Oh, and they might be a bit injured. Oh, hang on. Where are you? Let me go. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I want to go and find where you are because I can heal you because I'm nice like that. Building. Ow, sorry. Right, where are you? Oh, you're in the hospital. Oh, do you know what? Hang on a minute. Hang on. Hang on. I know that the, um, I know that you're very good. Doctor's in there, but we could, we could just sort of just heal those two up. There we go. Right. Two people back to work. That's very good. Um, yeah, population is is struggling population is struggling a bit uh how is the airport looking yeah not really any change how is space thingamajig looking i do like the balloon <laughs> balloons having just a lovely time um space thingy uh this way there we go space thingy is here how is that looking <gasps> oh oh that's very exciting it needs three cement three cement and then it's done. How much cement have we got? Tell me we've got some cement. We've got 12. Somebody just go and lob some bags of cement at the Cosmodrome. So yeah, all that's gone in. They had that in ages ago, the fiber optics. The steel beams must have gone in just because we had lots of them from that trade. And the cement, yeah, we've got a little bit less. So yeah, oh look, that just went down by three. Oh, it's gone down by loads. Please tell me someone is bringing cement over here to finish the Cosmodrome. Because if we can send a nugget to space, then I will be very, very happy. I mean, I'd love to see the other buildings. It's being built. It's being built. <laughs> We're going to get a Cosmodrome. Now, I don't know how this works. Maybe we have to build a spaceship in it as well. I have no idea. But I'm looking forward to finding out. I mean, I'd love to get the other buildings in. I'd love to get an airport. And I'd love to get all these other things in. Oh, dear. And the leader of the planet has died. That is somewhat unfortunate. Um, how are we looking for law enforcement? Still three law enforcement buildings. I don't know what we're doing with that. I love the way that <laughs> we really do need some uh, law enforcement because crime level is very high. But uh, do you know what? We've put all our priorities on building a great big Cosmodrome so we can build a spaceship. Go us. There's the priorities. Um, so the build. Oh, my goodness me. 25,000 sort of build points, whatever it is, um, is required to get this thing completed. And currently we're on 500-ish. Okay, right. Let's not wait for that. Let's not hold our breath. We'll come back when it's done. Whilst we wait, why don't we do something nice for the planet? So down here, the oxygen level is high, but that's come down a little bit. That bar is not as high as it could be. So we've got a thousand crater points. So why don't we just go through and just get some more trees on the planet? 
to up the oxygen level. So why don't we just go through and go, right, plant trees, plant trees, just plant loads of trees around here because this is our little sort of uh, forester cutter area. So we'll do that. Oh, hang on, that's not letting me plant trees in that area, is it? Why can't I plant trees in that area? Just there, please. There we go, marvellous. So let's just see if we can raise that up a bit. And uh, where have we got some room? I mean, there's some room over here. I think we put some over here before anyway. Why don't we just go... Yeah, there we go. Lots of creator points spent on lots of lovely trees. Just pop lots of trees in. Um, gaining more followers. I mean, that's good. Gaining more followers is good. But we don't really use the creator points for much else. So we might as well just use it to try and get the oxygen level back up a bit. So how about that? We've gone through almost all of them. We've put down a massive load of trees. And that, that's gone up a tiny bit. That's gone up a little bit. So do you know what? I'm quite happy with that. And it means I can chop down those trees and turn them into planks and all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't mind doing another trade. Where are those Shambhala people? Can we go and do some more trading, please, Shambhalans? Oh, and the Cosmodrome is done. It is complete. Oh, and that looks marvellous. That is massive. <laughs> that is a huge building. That looks very, very good indeed. So Cryspace Industries... It's got a pointy satellite dish thing on the roof. It's got something just here. Is that where, is that, I don't know what it's called, but like, is that the thing that the spaceship goes next to and they use the ramp to get in and out of the spaceship? I do not know. Um, and then, yeah, it's just a big building with lots of fancy looking things on it. Okay, right. How does it work? What do we do with this? So can we do something with this now? So if we click that, oh my goodness. A thing has happened, and I do not know what this means. Um, right, we can send up a satellite. Now, yes, I know we can't actually send up spaceships. We can't actually do a spaceship, I don't believe. But we can send up satellites, because I think in the version of the game that we have, that we've got hands on right now, I don't think we can actually send up spaceships. But we could do a satellite. If we could do that, that would be great. I don't know what to do with this. Uh, can we just press a button? Um, a discovery satellite, a communication satellite, that might be quite nice. So what does that need? It needs some fuel, it needs some electronics, that's unfortunate. It needs some fibre optics, we've got loads of that. Steel beams, yeah, we can cope with that. Oh, the, is the only thing we can make a defence satellite? Oh, oh, okay, right, we can't make a, com a comm satellite or a discovery satellite, um, but we can make one of these. So we are going to need some more resources for this. Oh no, I kind of hope that it would just work now. Um, launch failure 5%. Okay, fine. Well, okay, we'll tick that then. And we'll say, is that what we're going to build? Is that what we're going to build? Oh, that is that is wonderful. Okay, that's very exciting. If we ever get that done. Um, I mean, how are we going to do this? Because we haven't got anybody that works here. Nobody actually works here. Um, okay. Okay. Maybe we just need to repurpose some people. I mean, do, do we really need, do we really need that many couriers? Maybe Chumboshu Wimbos would love to go and work on a spaceship. Yes, assign the nugget to the spaceshipy building, please. Um, I don't know what the two queues are. I don't know what that queue is and that queue is. Assign engineers and just another button. Okay, right. Well, let's get an engineer as well. Let's, uh, let's pick somebody from here and... Um, uh, who who would make a good you, Lamobo Shanehestein? Who you're currently a cook? That's fine. Hang on, what's that trait? You're lazy. No, that's not good. We don't want lazy people. You're neutral. How about you, Halahu Wimbos? Or oh, we can be the Wimbos family working on it. So one engineer and one whatever you are. Uh, you can both work here, and we'll just see if we can get anything like this done. I mean, I the chances are minimal, aren't they? Are we actually going to get this done in any way, shape or form? The only thing we've got is the fibre optics and the steel beams. We haven't got... Have we got fuel? Have we got fuel? So we exit the building. So we can go back in and that's still there. Okay, fine. Have we actually got fuel? I think we've collected fuel over the over the years, have we? With our trades and stuff and from, from the mystery box thingamajigs. But I think that might be fuel. It doesn't look like we have any, and it doesn't have a rollover sort of tooltip thing either. <laughs> I think that might be fuel, possibly. I'm not entirely sure, but let's hope it is. But yeah, we still haven't got any. So does that mean we need to build a fuel refinery as well, as well as get things into the carbon factory and the fibre factory? Oh my goodness me. I mean, do we even need the fibre factory, given that we just keep trading for fibre optics? I don't know. Do you know what? We'll just get one in anyway. It'll be fine. 
and there is an election. So let's actually make everybody vote for who we would like. So religious focus, creator point production up 15%, research rate down. We don't need the research rate to be anything because there is nothing left to research. So that would get our creator points back up. But I mean, we're already on 584 out of a thousand because we don't use them that much. Medical aid, they pay more attention to the medicine, so medicine preparation time is down. Or water filtration, free water filters in every nugget house, plus 25 to water refill rates, water buildings decay twice faster. That sounds bad. We're okay for water stuff at the moment. I think let's go down medical aid, only because I'm not really too bothered about the other two. So let's give a little divine nudge toward Hitobo. And also, Hitobo, can you try and stay alive? Because our previous leaders seem to be you know, just very fragile. They've just died relatively easily. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of a shame. Now, over here, I was hoping that maybe we could get this building done. There was a law enforcement building just here that needs one steel beam putting into it. Just one little tiny steel beam. Someone could just carry that over and we could get that. It's in. Somebody has carried it over. Somebody listened. So we can finally get this building constructed. We can get another law enforcement building in. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I put these in quite some time ago. They're both police station type buildings. However, this will be a modern law enforcement building. So it won't look like this. It will look like a fancy one. So let's just have a little look at what it looks like. What are they on? Um, it's going to take 10,000 build points, whatever, and they're not even at 1,000. Right, okay. Uh, we'll come back when it's finished. Whilst they put the finishing touches to the police station and the crane gets very, very high, and um, population is slowly creeping back up again. I notice we have no child nuggets of any kind, but we've got 395 adult nuggets. Oh, there you go. Four child nuggets have just been born. And our food is looking very, very good. We've got lots of raw food and quite a few prepared meals. And there... There is our first modern police station. Oh, it's got a searchlight on it because all police stations have a big searchlight on the back. Of course they do. So it's got itself a couple of little sort of rooms here and then there's a, a gated sort of entrance. So it's got a barrier and then it's got some fancy rooms. It's got a watchtower. Oh, that is that is very good. I do like that. Joe, what though? I am a little, I'm a little tiny bit disappointed. It doesn't have the, the sort of the checkerboard sort of thing on it. There's no checkerboard type stuff but do you know what it looks modern it looks policey i am quite happy with that um also right let's heal all these people in here as well i know the doctors are able to do their jobs but if we can heal you you can all get back to work quicker so there you go you've all been healed by your lovely wonderful overlords that's fine and i think what we'll do is we'll finish oh hang on a minute yay we'll celebrate that woo yay for celebrations so we'll finish up for now uh, because, yeah, we've got that done. We've got that completed. We've got the Cosmodrome in. There is the hot air balloon just flying around in the night sky. That looks very good. Hang on. Can we get a shot of that with the city in the background? Oh, yeah, that looks very good. Oh, look at that. That That's very good. I like that shot there. Um, oh, no, not that, though. Oh, no, not that residentially. That I come out of that. Look, we've got a hot air balloon and the lovely city in the background. That looks great. If, uh, yeah, it looks better at night time as well, I think. So there we go. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we've got the Cosmodrome in. We've got the airport is being constructed. I bet it's nowhere near actual completion. Um, we're hopefully going to be working on a satellite in there, although they've bought it entirely no resources. So who knows how we're going to get on with that. Um, how is the airport looking? Just a quick nosy. Um, not too bad. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. We cannot finish up quite yet because I can see alien monstrosities. Right, one hit will hopefully scare them away. So away, please. Clear off. And when you're away from us, we will knock you down. There we go. Marvellous. So you can... Whoa! <laughs> you can do some crazy crashing stuff. There we go. Thank you. Right, pick this up. We'll end on this then. We'll open this box thing up and we shall have a look at what it contains. We'll also crash into a building. Yay, go us! Right, okay, so down it goes. What are the contents? Ooh! Ooh, hang on. Right, hang on. That's rare i think what are those why is it not why is it not giving me the little tool tips of what they are anymore um do you know what we'll open it anyway yay right okay <gasps> are they steel beams 
They are steel beams. Oh, it is a beautiful thing. Oh, it's wonderful. We've got loads of steel beams and everyone's running in and picking them up. And Shambhala wants to trade. Okay, right, hang on. Maybe we won't finish up quite yet. So they want a load of planks and they'll give us some fuel. Now we might need fuel possibly. That could be quite handy indeed. So let's go into here. You want some planks. Yeah, absolutely. Have a have hundred planks. It's fine. We love you. Have a hundred planks. Also, would you like some bricks? Have... Uh, I don't know, 100 of those as well, because we've got loads. Also, would you like some logs? Because you could have 300 logs. It will give you that. And then, can we have all of your things? So we'll have all of that. It's a shame you haven't got any glass. That would be ideal. So we'll take all of that. We'll take all of this as well. Have all of that. Thank you very much. Um, We'll take, I don't know, 10 of your fiber optics. And we'll take 50 of your fuel. Can we have that? And then we'll just take a few more of those. Oh, there's that plastic. I can't remember what it was now. Like that. So I think that's quite a good deal. We get rid of stuff that yeah, isn't overly important to us. We get stuff that is always quite useful. I'd love to be able to change what we could get off them. I bet they've got glass. I want to buy glass or gas. Just a massive, great, big ordering of gas would be wonderful. But do you know what? Never mind. We'll trade that and we'll get all that stuff in. And yet yeah, the steel beams seem to have gone to lovely places. There you go. The hospital look. The hospital has been completed, so another hospital is in. The crime level is now low. And there we go. Right, with all that done, that is now a good point to leave it. So yes, we're at a nice safe point. We've completed lots of things. We want the airport to be completed. Hopefully that will be done next time, if we can actually come back to this. But if we can't, if we only get this far and then they introduce the beta, I'm still very, very happy. We've got lots of lovely buildings and we have the Cosmodrome in as well, which does look very, very good. But um, yeah, we'll come back next time if we can and just carry things on and see if we can get ourselves a satellite launched or an, air, an airport finished or whatever. Any of the other fancy buildings in, we'll give it a go. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very splendid indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here in the universe. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I am going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold, the power of the blimp.